Yeah, I think it, I think it puts the focus on the wrong thing because you can get a label, that's fine. But we need to ask a better question. So to me, if you seek out the question of like, do I have pots? The answer that you will get is yes or no. And if the answer is yes, what do you get out of that? You're going to get a medication and you're going to get told to like wear socks and drink salt. So does that cure the problem? No, it does not. You're going to end up taking a medication that generally is going to try to solve POTS, which is tachycardia. Tachycardia is not the problem. Tachycardia is actually the thing that is like working in your body that is trying to compensate for the other thing that's gone bad. So the more important question is like, don't worry about calling what you feel POTS. It doesn't matter. The more useful question is like, tell me about what you feel. Like, hey, I get dizzy when I stand up or I get nauseous when I stand up or I get a headache or my head pounds and I can feel my heart beating in my chest when I lay down or like I get super tired when I'm up walking around in a store. I notice that I feel a pounding in my head when I lay down. Like those are all things that different people with pot say, or I can't digest my food, or my legs are purple and red, or my hands are super cold, or I can't sweat. Those are all different combinations. And the more important part is why do I experience this particular set of problems? Rather than trying to jam my particular set of problems into a diagnosis, say like, why is that happening? What could be going wrong that ends up looking like this? Because that's actually a solvable problem. Because now we say, well, let's figure that out. Let's take apart your symptoms and figure out why is that happening. And now I'm answering a real question where I can get to the why and actually solve it. It's incurable because you've created a problem that is incurable rather than trying to solve the real problem that's in front of you. And I think that's the core problem to where all of these people will, rather than tell me like exactly what's going on in their world, they will say, I think I have POTS, do I have POTS? It's the wrong question. You're saying like, I want this diagnosis, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. The whole basis of the diagnosis has nothing to do with your heart. It's just telling you that it's beating fast. Why is it beating fast? Like that's a reasonable question. Rather than saying, it's beating too fast, you know what we can do? I got this cool thing called a beta blocker, It'll slow your heart rate down, it'll make it so it fills more, you'll get more blood flow. Aha, like you've already said what the problem is. We have a problem with distribution of blood. So maybe that's what we should be talking about. Those are the problems that we should solve. Like you said, it's distracting to, to focus on the heart. Anybody that's that's gone through the process of going through a POTS diagnosis, they've been the cardiologist and the neurologist generally, the whole thing centers around like, heart's fine and then no attention is paid to like why is this complex system of circulation distributing blood why is that failing in this person we don't pay any attention to that which is odd because it's a reflexogenic system which means it's controlled by stimulus in processing motor output out something in that loop is failing maybe we should take a look and see why of every question that comes in that's been funneled through this keyword hashtag POTS. But they need to stop. They need to stop. Stop associating yourself with that word. You know what I think is the best way to be sick for the rest of your life? Tell everyone you have POTS. That's a great way to be sick forever. I would put a moratorium on POTS diagnoses if it were me. I would say we all need to step back, make new diagnostic category that are not around syndromes of symptoms. They would be around the mechanism of what is failing. So for example, if you are someone that has a failure of the autoregulatory reflex in the brain and you become pressure passive and that's why the blood is falling out of your head when you stand up, let's call it that. If you are someone that got a vaccine and then got Guillain-Barre syndrome and you have no ability to create enough tension to create vasoconstriction in your body so your cardiac output goes down, let's call it that. If you're someone that actually does have low levels of blood volume because you've got anemia or whatever the problem is, let's call it that. And let's name things based on the mechanism of the failure, not based on this amorphous blob of things that people experience and try to take that big blob of symptoms and force them into one diagnosis.